It's our third day here at the Gorge, and it's kind of an off day. It's pretty cloudy, with a little bit of rain. We kind of slept in and uh, just been really hanging out around camp today. really turning out to be a down day. It's raining on and off and keeping us either hunkered in Keegan's van or at that coffee shop for a while, but I'm gonna make use out of the day and at least give you all a tour of Keegan's van. So it's a uh, 1990 Ford E150 Econoline and I bought it off a guy off Craigslist and yeah, so we can do a little walk around and it's not really, uh, there's not one panel, I think, that doesn't have a ding on it, but that's okay. It's got a ton of character. I still love the look of this body. I think it looks way better than the next gen, which I have. Yeah. It looks so, great. It's got some stickers on it from the previous owner. Uh, the previous owner is a college student, and uh, the guy he got, got it from apparently converted it out. Uh, he was a rock climber, so... take you inside so in here is just like a, a straight bench and uh, over here is just a, a single twin bed <laughs> dog's gonna get on it oh it is get down from there <laughs> and um, yeah the the side walls have a three-quarter inch foam board insulation and then on top of that is reflectix panels yeah. And uh, there's three quarter inch foam board up in the ceiling. And uh, as far as the windows go, I pretty much just put ref reflectix in the windows. I have cutouts over here. And um, yeah. And then you got this. I got the Mr. Buddy heater. Of yeah, course, buddy just like every other van dweller. And then we got this curtain that comes with. Yeah. Dry. So this this is actually just an insulated bed comforter that, uh, believe it or not, my mom sewed up for me. And. Uh, yeah, it kind of just has a little insulating barrier between the living space and the front cab yeah. because I usually don't put Reflectix up in all these windows up here. It's super well insulated. He stayed way warmer than us the past few days. But yeah, and this is honestly just a, a little plastic bin I had in my room forever and it's just bungee cord in here. When I drive, it comes out. And yeah, just some storage pretty much. I don't have too much permanent storage yet, but I do have future plans to actually build up this so that I can install a sink and have a gray water and a clean water mm -hmm. bucket and have a little sink set up going. But I love the red interior in the cockpit. It looks great. Yeah, and so all these stickers here, all of these stickers were here uh, when I bought it, except for one of them. But yeah, it's got the Copper Colorado sticker, so it's been to Colorado and yeah, it's been a, a lot of cool places. So. <laughs> I plan on taking it out west this summer and going up the uh, up and down the west coast. Um, so going to Washington, Oregon, and uh, California, and uh, planning st plan on staying out there the whole summer and living out of it and yeah, living the van life. So he's going full time van life this summer and going all up and down the west coast, which is exactly what I want to do one day, and hopefully. I save up enough money and we can meet up with them late this summer. We're both working on our own econo lines and uh, too bad I couldn't bring mine out here and have them together out at the gorge, but glad he could come up and hang with us.